first, catch your elephant. From high in the African sky, the marksman with the dart gun makes it look simple. It is anything but. It's got to go down, there's that anyway. Every second counts now, an entire family group knocked out. Not everyone has yet succumbed to the sedative. What's the rap in Tambo? This way, the rap this way. And there's a panic. A big female, the matriarch, is stuck in a ditch, face down. Worse, her calf is lying across her trunk, a suffocating weight that takes great sweat to shift. You've got to get her out of here as We've quickly got to get as possible. Her out quickly as possible, yeah. So she's been down now for about two minutes, three minutes, but we've got to get her out quickly to free up that airway. Quickly, pull on. More ropes are attached, and slowly, three tons of slumbering elephant is hauled to safety. Check her breathing. There's a mighty sigh of relief. That was uh, very close, huh? I can't think of anything quite so awe-inspiring or humbling as to be this close, touching distance to one of these dozing giants. But as we've just seen, these animals are not designed to lie down for long. Time really was of the essence here. Touch and go. But in the end, this animal will be fine. And soon everyone is winched from the ground and placed inside steel crates then woken for the long journey ahead. It's Africa's most ambitious elephant relocation. From a reserve where conservation means there are now too many elephants to a new home 200 miles to the north where poachers almost wipe them out but is now a safe haven again. It's, it's quite remarkable when you go into a landscape where everything has been wiped out where you've brought it back again and you see them feeding and out in the wild and completely comfortable behaving normally it is extremely satisfying for, for, for all of us. At the end of a day no elephant could ever forget, the moment of welcome release. The matriarch who might have died in that ditch shows us she's back in charge. A new life beckons, a new hope for the greatest of African icons. John Ray, ITV News, Nkota Kota, Malawi.